Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 22 now in verses 14 to 18. When the hour had come, he sat down and the twelve apostles with him. Then he said to them, With fervent desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say to you, I will no longer eat of it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say to you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Interesting here how Jesus, he's on the verge of his crucifixion. He's on the verge of his suffering and complete sacrifice. And yet he says, I have with desire, I have desired to eat this meal with you. He's, he's so ready to pass this blessing on to his children, on to his people. To, to have the church take off and be doing God's things. And so Jesus has wanted this communion, this last fellowship time together before his suffering. And so here he's, uh, he's got them all together. And he's even going to make a final, final appeal to Judas. But Judas is not going to say yes. But we see here that Jesus loves to be with people. Today, you know, some of us, we say we're introverted or we're extroverted. Uh, I, 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 I prefer machines to people. Some people like their computer or their phone uh, compared to people. And when people behave a certain way, you might say after a while, yeah, I kind of get that. I understand that. But really, really, we need to be more people-centered. We need to be more interested in people because we have something to share. We have something extraordinary to share. Hey, what we have to share, what you have to share is better. If, if you were walking through the department store and a guy came running up to you and said, hey, I've got the cure for cancer. You'd, you'd probably think he was a nut. But what if he really had the cure for cancer? And you'd want to know, wouldn't you? You'd want to be in on that. That would be awesome news. You might have family and friends that could be helped. You yourself might be able to be helped. We have something that's way better than a cure for cancer or a cure for heart disease. We have the good news about Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who will transform us and give us eternity in the mix. I mean, there is no better plan than that. And so, friends, uh, Jesus, it was he was looking forward to being with people. And we need to perhaps pray and ask God help us to be more interested in other people and not be wound up in ourselves. You know, a man wound up in himself is a very small package. And a lot of us are very small packages. We want God to help us and extend us and use us in his work. Why don't we pray together? Dear Father in heaven, Lord, we're so glad that Jesus wanted to be with us. He actually came across and came down and took a humanity like our own humanity and lived in it without sinning so that we could live in our own humanity and also cease from sinning in it. Lord, bless us and help us to have more love for other people. Thank you for hearing our request, Lord. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Okay, so next time you're around a bunch of people, you know, you need to you want to be right. You, you want to find that God has put it in you to have a stronger desire to bless them and turn them in some way toward the kingdom. May his blessings be upon you. Then.